All right, hi queens, welcome to my channel. My name is Nia and today's video is gonna be just a super chill vibe coming to you with no makeup on right now. And we're just going to go through, walk through my go-to glam. That's it, that's all. That's literally all I have to say. <laughs> This is what I do if I'm trying to be glam, trying to be cute. These are the products that I use, and yeah, that's it. I'm just going to walk you through my routine. So if you want to see how I get glam, keep watching. So first step is I always, 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 like no matter what, I can't even believe I didn't come on here with them already curled, but I always curl my lashes. This is the Dollar Tree Lash Curler. I think it's like LA Colors Lash Curler or whatever. This one's pretty good. It's only a dollar, so it's great for a dollar. There's also one from... Revlon, it's the red and black one, which is like fire, and then they have a gold one, which is also fire. But this one will do for a dollar, it's less expensive. So, and honestly, I like curl them like to like an insane amount until they're like sticking straight up almost to the point where I like rip my eye out. Like, <laughs> it's crazy, but I like them to be like super duper sticking up, like super straight and super curled, and that's why I usually keep like almost like a brand new lash curler on deck like all the time i don't have one right now but i usually do because once they like are used a little bit and they have that little indent they're not as good anymore so you need one that's like brand new if you want super curled lashes so so yes i have this pimple i have no idea i never get pimples like this so i have no idea where this is coming from maybe i ate something i wasn't supposed to eat i don't know girl but Anyway, so my face is already prepped with moisturizer. I always do like an insane amount of moisturizer because I feel like that's the only way your makeup looks really nice and natural and soaked into your skin. So I always do that. So I have moisturizer on, oils on, and a whole situation. Um, I will do an updated skincare routine so you can go see. I literally just do skincare before I do my makeup. So I will show that in a separate video, but for now, moisturize, chapstick, all the good stuff. And I usually just use concealer, like unless it's the Makeup Forever HD foundation stick, which I'm obsessed with and looks very skin-like for me at least. I usually just use concealer. Um, and a lot of the times I use the Too Faced one, but today we're using the Hourglass one because I've been recently really in love with this one. This is the Hourglass. I don't know what shade it's in. It doesn't tell me. That's sus. I kind of just put this in places where I have discoloration and just focus it mostly there. And that way, I'll just get a nice even like cover. But for me, concealer looks better than foundation does. I don't know, it's something about the full thick like foundation just, it doesn't do it for me. So I've always liked to use concealer more than foundation. So I put that like kind of like all over. And then I have my Ride or Die Trusty Huda Beauty. I also put this on just because it's a slightly like warmer color. The um the, the hourglass one is more of like a neutral a neutral color for me and then the um, Huda Beauty is a warmer tone so I like to mix the two. And then once I have that on, I just go in with a little um, domed foundation brush and I just start blending it out. And I always do my ears and on my jawline, like I bring it down. Oops, me. I just clean all my brushes, so my makeup application today is gonna be so nice. I feel like this is the stage where you have to like really focus like when you're doing your foundation and concealer, you have to like really take a lot of time to blend it out in order for you to get that really seamless look. Like if there's anything that you take your time on blending, I would say your foundation and your concealer, really, really, really take your time just going over it, patting it in, making sure everything is just very, very seamless. And also the moisturization, your skincare routine underneath it is really gonna help you blend out this step very, 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 very seamlessly. Now, once I feel like I like 
always checking a bunch of different mirrors. I have a mirror down here, I have a mirror over here, and I have a mirror in my hand, and then sometimes I will use an even closer up smaller mirror for like very detailed, like very detailed blending because I want to see like how people will see me and how my makeup will end up looking and I feel like that's very important a lot of people forget to check all of those things because like from the front and far away you look really good but if you get up close you look crazy if you look good up close you might look crazy from far away it's just important to check you guys very important to check so just focus on that so next is concealer. I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty again and my Rare Beauty concealer because I just feel like together they are a great combination. I'm running out of this Huda Beauty one because I literally have used, I have like seven of these and I just use them to the ground. But I just do, you know, the typical concealer placement up against the side of my nose and then kind of on the edge of my eye. I was designed with you on my mind. I Sorry if you guys can't see that, but I just kind of do this typical. I'm not like very precise with the placement of it just because um, I already put concealer all over my face. You know what I mean? So it's already kind of this color. This is just the face of my under eye concealer. So I don't have to be. Sorry, I keep covering it up with the mirror. I don't have to be too precise or too like crazy about where it goes. I know because of TikTok, we're all like, oh, we have to put it right here. It has to look exactly like this. But honestly, whatever works for your face works for your face. Like, don't, if you do something and you like the way that it looks, just keep doing that. Like, you don't have to follow everything that you see on the internet. You don't have to follow this. You just do whatever works for you. That's what I've learned. So I'm gonna use my Rare Beauty. Um, concealer and it's like very bright brightening and I put that like on the inner corners on top of it and one thing I've learned is like mixing your concealer while it's still wet is gonna give you like a really really nice finish of the two um, instead of like going on top of each other like once you blend one in then add another one it's better to just add them when they're wet on top of each other let them dry down a little bit and mix together and then blend it in so that's what I'm gonna do I let it dry down just a tiny bit and blend it out while we wait for that to dry I'm going to just go in with my elf putty bronzer because this is going to add some color to my face here it is that's the color that i use it's kind of just like an everyday bronzer my brush is still kind of wet but it's like this sephora collection angled brush and it's that girl it's really that girl so hopefully it won't be bad that it's still wet i wash all my brushes i just coat it on there sometimes like tap a little bit off of my hand and then i'm just going to go in and bronze the face and this is a very like light light bronzer it's very buildable so if you're new to creamed I would definitely recommend using this cream bronzer because it's really buildable and it's like kind of like foolproof you know very beginner friendly the reason why I like this brush is because it's like the perfect angled brush to just stamp on your bronzer so I just go back and forth and stamp it on. And the reason why I like to do the main part of my cream bronzer before I blend out my concealer fully is first to let my concealer dry down and second because any mess ups I make, I can fix with the concealer, you know? And I'm all about trying to add like the least amount of product. Like I don't want to add a lot of product because once you start adding a lot of product, it starts to make your makeup look really cakey and that's not the vibe we're going for. We're going for snatched but still look as natural glam as you can get with still looking glam. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean. <laughs> so just go in and I wish I had like a better mirror setup like right here that I could show you guys but this is honestly the best it's gonna get. I don't have that right now, the way my setup is, the way my bank account is set up. <laughs> uh, do you know that Kevin Hart, um, what is it, I don't even know, comedy show where he says the way my bank account is set up or whatever the heck it is. I used to think that was so funny in middle school. It was so funny to me. Once we blend everything out and the concealer is on, it's going to kind of even itself out and look really nice. So let me do the other side really quickly. Now I'm going to take this wet Sonia Kashuk, well it's damp. A damp 
a sponge, not wet girls, damp. <laughs> the damp Sonia Kashuk sponge, and I love this one. It has the angled edge, and it's just like really big. And I'm gonna squeeze it really small with my fingers and go in and blend out that concealer. Again, this is the part that you want to take your time blending out. Do you see how flawless it's starting to look? You want to take your time blending out because it's overall going to affect your makeup a lot. How nicely and seamlessly this is blended out. And you always hear people say that, like, oh, take your time blending it out, take your time blending it out, like, you know, everyone take your time blending it out. And it's much easier said than done because, you know, you guys, sometimes you just be in a rush, like, you'll just be in a rush and you are like, okay, I'm gonna just, like, blend it out really quickly. But taking your time blending things out and making sure they're really, really in there is, like, game changing for your makeup. It makes everything start to blend like very seamlessly because it's blended into your skin really nicely. But if you just like really quickly do it, it's just sitting on top of your skin. So it's not gonna look as seamless and natural. Okay, so now that I've blended out my concealer, I'm just going to take the sponge and just roll it on, roll it and like dab on to the places where I put my bronzer just to like seamlessly melt that into my skin. Again, the base, like, just take your time. Go through everything and just re-blend, redo, you know? So, I'm gonna go in with blush. I have two blushes. I have the Bobbi Brown Chocolate Cherry, which I'm obsessed with and I've had for years. And then I have the Elf Putty Blush. And the Elf Putty Blush is a much more natural blush. And it's, like, this mauve color. And then... <laughs> The difference between these two is crazy. The Bobbi Brown one is more like berry and like highly pigmented. So I can't decide what I want to do today. Let's do let's do the Elf blush. Let's do the Elf blush. Just going to use that same brush that I used for the bronzer. Dab it in. And just dab over kind of like my cheekbones. And I will put the blush on my chin, on my forehead up here, and just kind of like have that color carry out throughout my entire makeup look of the rosiness because I really, really like the way that that looks. I'm just going to follow up with my sponge again. That is my favorite thing. I love to use brushes to blend everything. Or I love to use brushes to apply everything and then I just go back in with the beauty blender and make sure everything looks seamless, you know? Okay, cute. So now it's time to finally start powdering. I'm back on my Laura Mercier vibe. This is the mini because I just didn't know like if I wanted to use it again. I was like, is my Maybelline better? I don't know. So like, let me try the Maybelline. I mean, let me try the Laura Mercier again. And the Laura Mercier is the best. Or the Hourglass Translucent Veil Powder is like that and Laura Mercier are top two. So I just am going to blend out my under eyes again just to make sure everything is nice. Oh, I just stopped myself. Just make sure everything is nice and seamless. I have creases under my eyes. It's always going to be that way. It just is what it is. I have creases. So my under eyes are going to crease at like a little bit because I have fine lines. So there's nothing you can, there's nothing I can do about it. But I take my sponge and I coat it like this and then I stamp it off just so I have an even layer of powder to dispense. And it's all, you know, nice and the excess is powdered off. So I just go in and place that underneath my eye and I kind of just blend it and tap it into the skin. This is the Sephora Micro Smooth and if you know Alyssa Ashley, you know about Sephora Micro Smooth, you guys. 
So I use this domed Japanese brush, powder brush, and I just swirl it nicely, like evenly coat it, tap it into this. I want everything, I want as much powder on there as possible, like evenly coated around. Tap off excess, oh, there's a loose brush here. Tap off extra, extra. Tap off excess and just go in and like literally tap it on to the rest of my face that I did not set with the Laura Mercier and kind of like blend over the edges of where the Laura Mercier is not going all the way up to the under eye but just around it the Sephora collection makeup is actually really really good you guys like I actually really really like it not mad at it at all and it's like the least expensive <laughs> it's like the least expensive thing in sephora and it's really really nice that their stuff is actually like really good quality because you're like okay i'll just get this you know like you have an alternative to purchase in sephora and get good quality makeup i love their brushes i love the makeup that they have i think they just do a good job so once I touch my face and it feels like it doesn't feel tacky or wet anymore I know I'm done with the micro smooth so I can put that to the side so now it's time for bronzer which I love bronzer I use the city bronzer from Maybelline in shade 300 yeah it's just a really nice like warm bronzer and I use this like I don't know if this is Amazon or where I got this brush but it's like this thick fan brush and I just evenly coat my brush in there tap off excess then I go in and I use this to like perfectly my edges have all type of makeup in it <laughs> I just perfectly put it like in the hollow of my cheek kind of like um, where you would like really intensely contour I just use it to like tap there nicely little like fluff fluff it around just so you have an even coat of the product there and it's like bronzing but also sculpting you know at the same time and I kind of just bring it down my neck as well just so everything kind of matches now that we're looking very bronze i love to be super bronze so now that i've like messily kind of put this let me just rub it everywhere now like <laughs> rubbing the excess just kind of like everywhere so it can look a little bit more seamless so now we're done with this brush and the bronzer now i go in with this this is like super frayed but <laughs> it gets the job done this is the morphe m527 brush it's just a nice like fluffy bronzer brush and i use this to just go in and diffuse that bronzer that i like strategically placed with the kind of more dense confined fan brush I like to use this for that reason and I don't like to use it to actually apply my bronzer because I feel like it's too like messy and it kind of gets everywhere but it's really good at diffusing it so after I apply it where I want it then I go in and diffuse it and make sure it's blended and looks nice all together so we're just gonna go over I'm all about the blending over here you guys we're just gonna go over and over and continue to just blend that area in, checking the other mirrors, looking at your face. So once I feel like that's nicely blended out, I am going to go in with blush. I've been really loving my NYX Sweet Cheeks Matte Bronzer in Daydream. And then I also have, I love the Maybelline bronzer. So I also have this one in a very, very light like baby baby pink like pale color that is not my shade at all but i like to use it so i'll show you how i like to use it so first with this little blush brush i'm going in with the sweet cheeks by nyx and it's like a bright like the lights will not pick it up how it looks but it's like a crazy bright blush and it's so pigmented so you have to tap off the excess 
And again, I just oh, brush here. Again, I just place that like kind of on my cheekbones and kind of keeping it backwards on my face, not all the way blending it in. Just kind of keeping it on the outside of my cheeks. I feel like it adds such nice color to your face. Like blush is everything, you guys. Okay, and I add it on my forehead. Kind of just like over top of that bronzer. Just to tie everything in. On my chin. On my nose a little bit. Okay. So now going in with that lighter baby blush. It's like very baby. I just use that to kind of like blend in my powder from under my eyes, my Laura Mercier powder, and the blush. So I use it as like a, a blending. Because I don't like it to look too harsh to where my blush was. And yes, I feel like it just adds like a cute little pale, pale pink color underneath there, which I like. I don't know, it just gives me like baby vibes, like I'm a little baby or a little doll or something. So now that we look insanely blush, I go back in with my Laura Mercier powder and I use the straight edge to just get into my powder and cut my cheekbones so that they can look so they can look real nice and snatched. And I start from the inner corner of my mouth. Kind of like above, like a centimeter above, and just stamp. And then I just stamp it out, like that, to just cut the cheeks. And then I will take a little bit of the powder again and kind of stamp the middle of my forehead just to like further blot that so it doesn't get oily and also to kind of brighten the area kind of just to add like a little spotlight and now I'm going to do my brows and I'll be right back to blend all this off I'm back with brows on cleaned up, set, all of that good stuff. So I'm going to go and wipe off the powder. I'm gonna use that same dome brush that I use for my micro smooth, just to make sure that my brush has some color on it, because I hate when this is like stark white, the cleanup or the bake is like stark white under there. Usually Laura Mercier doesn't leave like a huge cast like the Maybelline one does, but just to be safe so we're not looking crazy. And I'm just going to go in and blend out everything again. So one of the last things that I'm going to do to my face, I don't use highlighter or anything like that. I'm going to take the same City Bronzer on a little blending brush, swirl it in. Whoa, tap off extra, you can see so much dust off that. This is a very powdery bronzer, by the way. And I'm just going to go, because I have hooded eyes, I'm going to go above my crease and just blend this so that the rest of my makeup looks very seamless with it so I just blend above and I kind of like even blend up into the front of my brow and I'm just gonna take some time blending this I don't want it to look harsh or anything like that and one way you can check to see how your blend is on your makeup is literally put the um, put the mirror below you and kind of just like hover over it and that way you can see what the blend looks like i know you guys are like okay queen we already curled our eyelashes but i <laughs> i'm gonna curl them again i lost my lash curler my dollar tree one i don't know where i put it so i'm gonna use the revlon one this one is just older so it's not as nice anymore as the Dollar Tree one, but I love this one when it's new. So yes, just curl my eyelashes up again for the last time. I'm actually today gonna try this 
Wet n Wild mascara that I got at the Dollar Tree. I don't know why I'm gonna try this in my makeup tutorial, but let's see. Wet n Wild Mega Wear mascara. This is a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Let's see what the brush looks like. Just looks like a regular like spoolie brush. I don't know. We'll see. You guys, it's not doing anything. I guess it's doing something. It's just very natural. And if you look at the bristles on the brush, I don't know if you can see. It just looks like a brow kind of like mascara one. Um, it's definitely just fluffing them. So... That was a mistake. Let me get my other one. So usually I use the L'Oreal Telescopic. My best friend put me onto that and it's fire. But today I'm gonna use the AOA Fat Lash. This is from um, Shop Miss A, the dollar makeup place. And I'm just gonna use that to just go through and fix that. Mascara is on. I'm going to actually put on lashes today, but um, sometimes I just leave it like this. Depending on, like, if you can't put on lashes, then, like, period, don't put them on, you know what I mean? But I'm going to put on just, like, natural lashes today for the vibe. But first, let me put on my lip. Usually for a lip, I end up just getting down with lip liners, like NYX lip liners. But today, I'm going to do a little bit of lipstick. The first lip liner I use, <laughs> they're all so dirty. The first lip liner I use is the NYX Brown. It's just brown. And always keep your lip liner sharp if you want a precise lip line. Mine is like super sharp. Just going to line them. Okay, so what I do is I line my lip and then I kind of just like draw in on the edges and then blend. <laughs> so that you get like kind of the ombre lip look. Most of the time I go in with this berry, this plum shade of lip liner and I do that in the middle and that gives you more of like a dark vampy look but today i'm gonna use the nyx pencil in peekaboo neutral and draw on the middle part of my lip it's kind of just like a nude lip like a lip liner honestly today i'm just gonna leave it like that i was gonna do um the mac what is this again oh the mac velvet teddy look at how weird shaped my lipstick is because that's how i put it on i wonder like what does your lipstick look like that's how mine naturally like forms to how i put it on my lips but i'm just gonna leave it like this because i'm happy with this i'm happy with the matte look i like it this way and i'm gonna pop on some lashes and i'll be right back i just put on a little half lash just because i feel like that looks best for me to have the little half lash at the end and keep my natural lashes it looks more natural to me and i did the um, technique where you put the lashes underneath your lash underneath your lashes just because that looks more natural for me too and I love that look so usually I would go in with setting spray but right now I'm out of the setting spray that I like I like the Milani make it last I like the elf dewy I like those two and they're also drugstore if you don't know a lot about me I am a drugstore queen. I have a lot of different types of makeup, but I prefer drugstore makeup just because it's much cheaper, but it's the same quality. Like a lot of the times you can find gems that are better than the high quality ones, so, or than the high end ones, and they're just great quality. So yes, I'm a drugstore queen. <laughs> Those are my favorite setting sprays, but today I'm out, so we're just gonna leave it like this. The last thing that I'm going to do I actually forgot about. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Wow Brow and I'm just going to set my eyebrows really quickly because I forgot. 
and this is a lighter color than my eyebrows and I like that look because it kind of adds like I don't know depth but without like darkening like I don't my eyebrows are already like thick and they're already dark when I fill them in so I like to lighten them up like this but with also creating an extra layer of hold on top of the got to be so anyway you guys this is the final look this is my go-to glam and yes I love the way it turned out I mean I always love the way that it turns out because it's my go-to glam but anyway you guys I hope that this helped you I hope that you enjoyed and if you did go ahead and like and subscribe because it will really help me out and I will see you guys in the next video bye